All right, today's video, just a nice, peaceful Sunday afternoon at the park. We got some crows here on the fence. Someone told me crows are extremely smart. I like to be well educated when it comes to animals, but I don't, I don't know much about crows. Are they are they really smart? There they are, hanging out on the fence. I like how I like how crows sound. Let's see how close we could get here. That's pretty close. There they are. They're just hanging out. I'm at the park right now, where I used to walk my dogs. I miss them a lot. Uh, currently, I have three rescued cats from my job, saved them from my job, former strays, so they're my current pets right now. Uh, man, it's tough. It's tough losing a dog, losing a pet. I don't know if I want any more pets anymore. I don't know if I want another dog again. It made my life a lot better, but damn, it's so hard when you're when they're gone, when you lose them. So, you know, I'm still thinking about it, still thinking if I want to get another dog, but definitely going rescue again if I do. It's just tough. It's just really tough, but I, I like going to this park. Um, I like thinking about my pets. I always tell people the only... The only time that someone really dies is if you forget about them. As long as you always remember the ones you love, they never truly die. And that's why I go to this park. Because I had good memories here. I took my dogs here. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of keeping to myself. I've been uh, flying this helicopter lately. This is my first remote control helicopter. And I, it's great. It's great. I've been taking it to the park. I might not get good fly time today since it's kind of windy, but I'm going to give it a shot. Tripod right there. Definitely going to pick up more helicopters. I'm probably going to pick up one for indoors because uh, it has to be perfect outside for these uh, helicopters to fly right. So I'll probably pick up a little one for indoors and maybe a few more big ones. It's a lot of fun. Uh, someone, uh, I think uh, Equinox left me a comment mm -hmm. saying, uh, damn dude, how much do you weigh? Because he's been seeing my uh, food reviews. And uh, another comment I got yesterday, I forgot the user's name, like T-Rex space something, but uh, I appreciate the concern. <laughs> he said, uh, you gotta watch what you eat, man. There's a, And this is all verbatim. He said, uh, you're gonna spike your cholesterol. And I appreciate the concern. Um, I eat like crap maybe twice a week. Uh, definitely on Saturdays I just load up on calories. And, you know, I, I eat what I want. The seafood diet, but I, I, I really don't overdo it. It may look like I overdo it with the food reviews I do. But I do eat fairly healthy. I like drinking stuff like this. Kombucha. Uh, I'll snack on it. This is really good. This is what's on sale. This is on sale right now. Two for four dollars. They're usually like three fifty each. Three dollars each at Vons, and um, I like snacking on this stuff, uh, like you know, protein bars. This is actually decently low on sugar, only like nine grams. This is on sale, two for three dollars. So I don't eat as bad as my channel shows. I just eat like that, like really crappy, like once a week. Maybe on Sunday I'll eat semi crappy. Today I'm actually eating all right. Um, I don't put as much dressing as I do as I did in my spinach video. I got an Asian frame, man. I'm skinny. Like, my natural weight is like 170. Uh, right now, I'm like 195. And it's it's a chore for me to be like at 195. The heaviest I've ever gotten, you know, weightlifting is like 205. And that was almost like a job to be 205. So I'm pretty happy with being around 195 right now. Is that a freaking vulture up there look at that thing i don't know if it'll show up on camera but i think it's gliding man now let's see if i could even fly my helicopter right now this is just a this is just a reflection video hang out at the park you know i i don't feel like be around people uh you're losing my dog that was fairly recently so 
Yeah, this is. I, I like to do these sort of videos just to see where I was in life at certain points of the year. So yeah, there's my uh, kombucha right there. There's my helicopter right here. Here's a tripod. Let's see if I can fly it right now. Okay, unfortunately, the wind is too strong right now to fly this thing. That sucks. That's why I'm going to pick up a little one just to fly indoors, just to learn how to fly these things. I'm going to keep a low to the ground, though. I'm going to try to keep it low. It's going to try to blow it. The wind's blowing it to me, like, towards me. There you go. I'm going to keep it low. Watch. If I try to fly it up, it's going to come towards me. See? There you go. I'm doing something. Now nah, the wind's blowing it towards us. Ah, that sucks. It has to be like a perfect day. It has to be a perfect day to fly these things. I'm working on a review right now. Uh, this is a $54.99 price range. Maybe the more expensive ones are better, but I'm, I'm not hardcore. I'm sure there are people with like $4,000 $4,000 remote control helicopters that fly in hurricanes with no problem, but yeah, any any breeze, this thing's blowing all over the place. Alright, let's try one more time. Keep it low. Yeah, see, it's, it, it doesn't want to get it on frame. Nah, it's not working out. Uh, I'm going to attempt to fly it way out there in the field somewhere, but I'm working on a review on that thing. Alright everyone, kick ass, be safe, take it easy, have a great safe week.